Hello, everybody, and welcome to Love, Money, Rock and Roll. I've never played this before, so if you guys have ever played this game, do not put any spoilers in the comments because that will ruin it. So, here you go. Three oh four, nineteen eighty seven. Okay. Okay, nice background. These falling cherry petals. Does everyone actually find them beautiful? Does anyone really see a deep meaning in their whirling? Perhaps this inter interplay of color, the purple velvet, velvet against the setting sun, does memorize, mesmerize. No doubt back then, I'll just turn it back down a little bit. No doubt back then, I too watched this leaf fall and thought so. Perhaps too much time has passed, I've forgotten. I've changed. Only the trees are still the same. They don't care. They came to into the world before me, and they will yet outlive my descendants. They don't care how beautiful their falling petals are, how fast they fell, or what, or what, at what, what angle. It's all the same to them. Why would, why would they bother with such minute? Uh, sorry. To them, this is nothing more than a routine. Than a routine change of the seasons. To me, though, this has a flood of mem memories. The tree in front of me now is just like the one on that day, the day when I had to do, do when I had, the day when I had to something, the day when it was too late to do anything. It's the same, the same. Are the petals too falling without, follow, falling with perfidious indifference? They truly don't care. They don't care if one day a photographer makes an entire exhibition of their images, or if a pair of sweethearts falls even more deeply in love, enchanted by their careless dance, ceaseless dance. That's how nature is. It's not how I am. Okay. Same as that day, a year earlier. That day, the petals were falling off the trees as well. Back then, too, nature was lying down, not dying. No, but falling asleep to wake up again in the spring. The fire of life rekindled. Sitting under this tree, I was remembering, remembering all the joy and the sadness. Do you really love me? Yes. Truly? Yes. She turned away while the petals kept falling, falling, getting tangled in her hair and making her look even more beautiful. You know, these cherry petals really suit you. She turned around. She probably didn't feel like it. She probably expected something else. Elegant phrases, intelligent words, something, but not this. Really? Yes, of course. She smiled. I too must have expected something different. Feelings, confessions, as beautiful as the fluttering petals. Sorry about that. But at that time, those words were more that important to me than anything else. More important than the tree, more important than the moment, more important than life itself. Because I realized that they were like a petal rest resting in my hand before it fell to the ground. So near, so fragile, so precious. Okay, sorry if that was a lot of noise. Background or something, I don't know. 1206, 1987. Okay. That was a long explanation of um, cherry blossoms. Oh, nice room. Ooh. I woke up. Okay, that was some, that must have been a, dream or something i don't know the fan was humming obnoxiously as ever its noise must have been what woke me up what how <laughs> i was sick of it of course but it was a necessary 
evil. Huh? I don't understand. The summer heat was relentless, even with the doors open. Oh, that's why you had fan there. Like, it was three in the morning, and the silence was sickening. Dear God, better to hear the blare of police sirens and the shouting of a tipsy neighbor or screeching of car tires. Anything but this obnoxious fan. Wow, you, you really, really, <laughs> this dude really, really hates fans. I'm just saying, I mean, like, why? Why? You know what? I'm not going to question it. I would have turned it off long ago, but then I would have certainly got cooked alive by the heat. Heck, Russian winters had nothing on Japan Japanese when summers. Hey, what? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just moving this a little bit. So, sorry about all the noise. With effort, I got up and went to the kitchen for some water. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm going to use my mouse now. Or whatever. What were Russian winters like anyway? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I don't know. Hello? Hello? Right. <laughs> Sorry that I listen to noise, by the way. Some muffled creaking came from the floorboards under my feet. Oh, God. Is there a murderer? <laughs> don't know, run. But the rest of the house, which consisted of three bedrooms, a living room, and a, ba a bathroom, and some pantries, paid no attention to its sole inhabitants. I don't know. Dang, it, was, it really was 3 a.m. No, okay. I mean, I mean, I guess. I, I don't know. I gulped the water down greedily, spilling half over myself. Great job, whatever your name is. <laughs> Next morning, I had to go to school. Then go back to sleep. A fan's not that annoying, okay? I mean, I'm not this dude, but... the fan is A fan is not that annoying, had to? Who's compelling me? Yourself? I don't know. Maybe I was the one who came up with these stupid duties and responsibilities, straddling myself with the necessity of socializing and waiting for that useless piece of paper which would attest me to possessing a high school education. I must have invented this world myself, as it was my want. want, want I don't know. I must have made it up alongside the other worlds that I fabricated daily for myself, for those I knew the whole world. I don't know what he's talking about at all. So just um, stop making poems in your head and go back to sleep. Oh my gosh. These obligations were nothing but the stupid conversations of the, that world. By a stroke of bad luck, it was also the world that most people viewed as the real one. I poured myself in another glass. How much water are you going to drink? I pour myself another glass of water and return to bed. Okay, go to bed. Please stop making poems up in your head. See? This dude's making poems up in his head. I don't know what to say. The moon shone brightly, anim animating every speck of dust. In its mournful light, my room looked entirely different like a portal to another world. Oh, is he going to transport into, like, freaking... I don't know. But... A, wor a world that was beyond my, even my imagination. A silver ray of light on the table, inching towards a heap of papers. School papers, an unfinished novel, letters from my grandmother, my f from friends in Russia. Oh, so he has friends in Russia. Maybe he's been to Russia. I don't know. Okay. I got up and put a particular scrap of paper in a drawer. Had it been sitting there for a year, or why should it have bothered me? I don't know. Maybe you're just crazy, okay? I, I don't know what this dude is, okay? Then again, why was it on my table? I don't know. You put it there? I should have tossed it long ago. Then why didn't you? God, this dude's so <laughs> This dude is so weird. I jumped up, took a step towards the table, and came to a halt. Okay. How could I? Could you what? It's not as if I had, hadn't fin tired. Never mind. More than once, the phone the phone rang loudly, very, very loudly. 
It was three in the morning. Who could possibly need to talk to me at this hour to a dejected high school or sunken uh, whatever? I cannot speak today. This is very um, suspicious. You need to like uh, go like tell your parents or call them or call whoever you live with or lived with or I don't care. Just tell the police. There's someone calling you at three in the morning. I don't know. However, I was used to it. Why are people calling you at three in the morning? Must be some scammer or something. I don't know. Hello? Hi, you're not asleep? As you can see. Why is a girl calling him at three in the morning? I don't know. I fell in an impulse staying up the and disconnect the phone. Then do it! I'm telling you, if you if you feel like you need to do that, do it. It's just some random girl calling you at 3 a.m. This is very suspicious. Hang up the phone quickly. Or are you stupid? I don't know. Okay. But even more, I wish that she could be here now close by. Oh, is it your friend? Don't know. What's her name? How come? How should I know? Probably because you called me. She mumbled something unintelligible. I don't know. How are things in general? How should they be in general at three in the morning? <laughs> He's just going on about how how she woke him up, but he wasn't even asleep. I'm just saying. She, he's just looking at some weird papers like, oh, I should have thrown this away years ago. I don't know what's wrong with this dude. I don't know. Great. This girl's crazy, too. I don't know. All the people in this game are crazy. Oh, oops. I, I think I just skipped something. Well, then they're great. Oh, quit that. Well, what did you want to hear? I wanted, I mean, I just wanted to call. So you mean it's okay to call at three in, in the morning? I saw the light come on your kitchen, so I figured you were up. Are you spying on me? No, I was just, you were just spying on him, obviously. How would you, you know what, never mind. The line went silent for a few seconds. She must have been trying to think of something that wouldn't sound too ridicu ridiculous. It's just that I couldn't sleep either. <laughs> Why either? What if I had been sleeping? But you aren't now. Okay, let's start from the beginning. What did you want? I wanted to know. She paused mid-sentence, as if working up the courage before continuing more confidently. Are you coming to school tomorrow? Suppose I do. Then I'll come by for you by for you in the morning. Now that's just great. It's three in the morning and you're gonna come by when? In three hours? Dude, this dude is like talking about how she's so stupid for waking him up at three in the morning over and over and over. Okay, we get it. She kinda sucks. Absolutely, because she woke you up at three in the morning. We get that, okay. So shh. <laughs> okay. So he won't be late. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take a pass. Hey, you can't keep missing school. At that rate, you won't be able to graduate, and then you won't even be able to find a good job, and then... She got entirely tangled up in the predictions of my future. Oh well, no biggie, it's totally fine. <laughs> No, that's not well. Leave the door unlocked tomorrow in the morning. Really? Are you going to come and kidnap him or something? You have the keys. What does it matter if I lock the door? Huh? Wait, who is this? I don't know. Alright, see you in the morning then. See you. I didn't feel like arguing. Would have done no good anyway. She would come and wake me up regardless what she did almost every day. Who is this person? Is she your friend? I mean, she just walks in into your house and comes and wake you up in your bedroom. That's kind of creepy, I'm just saying. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Why did I ever give her the keys? Why? I'm asking you, why? Well, that was a while back. Must have been about a year. Not that long. The cherry petals were probably falling on that day as well. Okay, we... We, we get you, you love your cherry blossoms, but, but the heck with them. 
I thought to set the alarm so I could get up before she came. Not that it mattered much, but it was getting old. What's more, I worried that I may have become too accustomed to it, seeing, seeing that familiar face every morning. It depended on even, which was some, something I definitely could not allow to happen. So if she wanted to come in the morning, fine, but she wouldn't be waking me up again. Okay, then set your alarm! Stupid head. 809-1987. Alright. Sorry if there's a bunch of noises, I don't know what to do. My audio kind of sucks. Oh. A hundred bells for chiming with a hundred melodies in my head announcing the morning. Okay, shh. I'm trying to read. Oh my god. Okay, finally. And that melody... And that med... Okay. I said that I could not read today. Oh. Birds. Was the cheerful chirping of birds. The contrast... The co construction of a neighboring street. You know what? I'm just going to mess everything up. So if you guys want to see me mess every word up and this whole thing, then you can stay, I guess. I don't know. As well as the dang fan, which had not quit humming for a second, and the grumpy muttering somewhere close by. Okay, I get you hate the fan, and you love cherry blossoms and hate- Oh. Oh. Okay. Hi, miss. Uh, what? What? Oh, oops, I accidentally skipped that. Sorry. What time is it? <laughs> Why is her mouth like that? <laughs> oh, her mouth. She's like... <laughs> the girl picked up the alarm and shoved it in my face. Look at this alarm, please. <laughs> She's, she probably says I'm so weird. I mean, I made her have like a kind of normal voice, but... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, but it's still early, I protested. The early bird gets the worm. Why is her mouth like that? You know, I'm, I'm just going to ask, why is her mouth like that? It was Himitsu. So, I'm going to stop right there. And if you guys want me to do an episode two with this weird girl, then put it in the comments below. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.